what was most Jewish about our family was the Yiddish language. Um, my father had originally started studying to become a rabbi. Uh, in his early or mid-teens, he threw that whole tradition over. Uh, he did not get smiche, which is the act of becoming a rabbi. Uh, he, and he became uh, basically an agnostic. Uh, didn't have any use in his own personal life for organized religion. We never were members of a synagogue when I grew up in Detroit. But the Yiddish language was a totally wonderful thing for him. And he was typical, and my mother, typical of this generation of what were called secular Yiddishists. They did not have a religious life of any great consequence, but they were very concerned with social justice, with working conditions for the poor, with all that sort of stuff. And that was grounded in the Yiddish language. So in our home in Detroit, uh, Yiddish was spoken all the time. Uh, my mother and father got m multiple Yiddish publications. Uh, every day in the mail there was something. There was the Freie Arbeiter Stimme, there was the Zukunft, there was the, the Yiddish forward came in. and uh, It was around us all the time. We, I remember listening on the radio on Sunday morning. There was something called the Yiddish Stunde, the, the Jewish hour, and they would play uh, Yiddish music. So the Jewish part of my identity had nothing to do with religion. Uh, we celebrated all the holidays, Hanukkah, Purim, Pesach. Um, though, the, the, though we had this uh, Seder and this kind of thing, but uh, uh, it wasn't religious at all. Um, but, but I was surrounded by Yiddish. And although some people my age will tell you, or may have told you, that their parents spoke Yiddish when they didn't want the kids to know what were, they were saying, that wasn't true in our house because we knew what they were saying. And if they didn't want us to know, they had to go into another room and talk privately.